it's crazy how long it took me to troubleshoot being able to connect my pick kit 3 and make it work. It's been four hours today trying to figure that out, but it's been countless days before that to try and figure this out. This video does it, and I did follow the instructions for that. I'll just copy the steps, so to myself it's obvious that you use this software, software which I have, which is an old PIC Kit 3 programmer that I have installed on my computer. Then you go to Tools, and you basically use this programmer to put the boot loader onto the PIC Kit clone. I take it that maybe the PIC Kit clones did not come with the bootloader pre-installed. So then you go to Tools, Download, PIC Kit Operating System. And once you're there, there should be a hex file that I suppose has the bootloader program on it. When you click on it, it seems to automatically go through the process of beginning to upload the boot loader onto your PicKit 3 clone. So, from my experience and from this video, there's no reason to click right. Once you click on that hex file, it just automatically goes into the process of uploading it onto your PicKit 3 clone. The bar will go across as it goes, just like that. Then once that's complete, you go into Tools and you want to revert back to MP Lab because you don't want to use this old software anymore. Now that your Pick Kit 3 has the bootloader installed on it, you can just go ahead and hopefully have success at using MP Lab. So you're going to revert to MP Lab. So go ahead and click that. And there's like a confirmation of that message. Just click OK. And then click OK. And you'll get this message. And this is how it exits. And I actually have some insight into this message that pops up. Because apparently you're supposed to run this old software in administrator mode or it won't close properly. And that's a whole different discussion and it's not really important. So just click quit and the program will kind of, I don't know what the correct word is, collapse and shut down. So go ahead and click quit and it'll do it twice. So in his case it's a pick kit two. And then you click close program and he's saying go ahead and test it out so go to MP lab and you can hit the build and clean and build and then once you do that you can hit the upload button which should send your program into your pick kit and into the applicable chip if you click this of course it will compile and clean it up anyway. And he seems to go through the process of opening up the IPE and connecting. I didn't do that, but I, I suppose you could. Maybe it's a good way to connect your device. This links up with MP Lab anyway. This message might come up. Just click OK. Unless, of course, you're using a 3.3 volt device. And he clicked program and it seemed to work for him. Myself, I wasn't using the IPE, but I still went to customize. Then I went to pick kit 3, power. And I personally got things to work once I put a little tick there. And it seemed to work and upload no problem after that. Check the description for the link.
So yes, I didn't create that original troubleshooting video. The guy's channel is called Fun Electronics Today. He deserves all the credit. I just made this video as a memorandum for myself because I have had such a problem with this. So I'll just show you that it does work on my computer. So there the build is successful and now it's going to go through the process of uploading it. Okay, so it stopped uh, that processing bar, so it's done. And it says Programming Verify Complete. So it seems to be working. Well, I hope you have success in your projects. Good luck, and I hope that helps. Well, I realize that you may be wondering how you go about getting this old Pick Kit 3 programmer, which will give you access to that bootloader so that you can upload it to your Pick Kit 3 clone. Well, you might be asking, well, how do I get this installed on my computer? And I'll try and show that next. And I realize that that is a pretty big hassle just for the sake of getting your Pick Kit 3 clone to work. But I'll show you how that's done through screenshots of another very good video. All right, so this is another really good troubleshooting video by Saravanan Al, and he does a few things in this video. He sort of showcases all of the Pick Kit 3 clones and uh, this device that you can use to program. He even goes ahead and writes a very simple uh, program which flashes which flashes an LED and he sets up the configuration bits. So that's helpful if you don't know how to do that. He also goes through the process of explaining how to adjust the voltage levels, supposing your PicKit 3 clone isn't providing enough power to your circuit, and he goes and explains that as well. And he's even logging in on microchip. So this I won't recap this whole video, but it's good to watch if you're having like power supply issues, and he shows how to go ahead and adjust that. But even more importantly, in his video, he shows you how to upload and install this old Pick Kit 3 programmer, which of course you will need to access that bootloader so that your Pick Kit 3 clone can work with MPLAB XIDE. So what he does is he scrolls through an archive on the microchip website and he'll find the correct old version. And here it is here, High Tech C Compiler. I think he clicks on this one, let's see. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, Pick Kit 3 Archives. And I guess he clicks on that one. But do check out his video and listen to his commentary. He shows how to unzip it and all that stuff. So hopefully that should get you installed with this old version of the software, which will contain the bootloader. And I will also leave a link in the description below for this gentleman's video, which shows some common pick programming errors and that's good to watch as well and it has 80 thumbs up so it's really helped people and don't forget to check out the comment section because somebody may have actually addressed a concern you might have within the comment section thanks for watching my video i don't care if you subscribe to my channel or watch any other of my videos, I simply hope that it actually helps you and gets you a step closer to programming and having fun. So I hope you have a good day. Thank you for listening.